uh, cereal without the candy bar. Something wrong? You might say that. Well, well, what is it? Why were you outside? I went to go search the garage after searching the attic. Really? Well, what's going on? Was Leslie here? No. No, thank God there wasn't a sign of Leslie. But that's not what I was looking for. Well, then what? Don't play innocent with me. I mean, I knew things were going to change when I moved out, but it's perfectly obvious you couldn't wait for me to leave. What did I do? What did you do? What did you do? You got rid of it. You got rid of it without telling me, without even asking me if I wanted it. You just went ahead and threw it away without even a, a, a second thought as to my feelings. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, re I'm sorry. I didn't know. I, I still don't. What are you talking about? Your contempt. And don't try to deny it either, because I found the proof in the garbage. <laughs> there now, what do you got to say for yourself? Hmm? Uh -huh. All right, I stand accused. I was hoping that you wouldn't notice. Hoping I wouldn't notice? Are you insane? I love that golf ball washer. It was like a part of me. I woke up this morning and the, the empty space against the wall screamed. I mean, my baby is gone. It's in a better place. It's not at all. It, it, what, in, in some, some, some trash heap? In some, some landfill covered with garbage bags filled with God only knows what? I feel violated. You know, this, this, is, this, this is wrong. Admit it. You hated that thing. And you were out to get rid of it from the minute I brought it into this house. All right. I hated it. It was ugly. It was icky. It was well, icky. Who makes the golf ball washer part of their home decor? It's pop art. It was tacky. You don't even play golf. That has nothing to do with it. That has sentimental value. <laughs> How would you like it if I got rid of that stupid ceramic pig with a chef's hat on top of the refrigerator? You wouldn't dare touch Pierre the Punch. Oh, wouldn't I? I thought about it for an adolescent moment. Of course, I would never stoop to the depths of your hideous cruelty. I merely snatched the pig so you would experience my pain firsthand. Well, I do. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. From the bottom of my hideously cruel little heart. I am sorry. It was you. more of a joke. Uh, I, know, I, I, I found out that your mom trashed the, uh, the golf ball washer. So. Yeah, and, and, and he pretended to do away with Pierre Lepage. So you stayed here all night? Yeah. Uh, I, no, I mean, I, I, I just let this stuff here. You guys are back together? We should tell him. You moving back in, Ted? Uh. No. No, sweetheart. Tad just stayed here because Leslie Colson escaped. She escaped? <laughs> she didn't try anything, no, did she? No, and you, you don't have to worry about a thing because there's a detective in an unmarked car outside watching the house. Our house is under surveillance, and you're telling me not to worry? <laughs> so wait, let me guess. She's, she's the main target, I guess, right? Listen, why, why don't you just... We'll come no. back. When is this ever going to end? Look, JR, you and your mom are not in danger. Good morning, folks. 
just got some word on Leslie Calls. What would you like to know? Well, she stole somebody's ID and credit card, and she boarded a plane at uh, Center City. Are you sure it was her? The airport security cameras confirmed it. We alerted to the police at LAX, but somehow she was able to get past them. Well, what now? Well, the LAPD is on alert. Oh, yeah, we all know they got nothing better to do than track Leslie Colson. Thank you, Detective. Could you just keep us posted? Yes, ma'am. Cannot believe, cannot believe they let her escape. Come on, I mean, she's, I'm relieved. She's not in Pine Valley. I guess that's true. As long as she's not here, you're not in immediate danger. So I, I guess that means you're out of here, huh? I mean, now that my mom is safe, you know. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you don't need me hanging around, so I'll head out as soon as I get changed. Well, I, I could still use some company, though. Well, why don't you move back in with me? I, I just came to get some CDs. I gotta go to school. Oh, well, I'll drive you. Don't bother. You, you're not even dressed, Mom. Well, I can I can change really quick. Listen, I, I've got to be at school at 10 o'clock. i got to uh, prep for some classes. What are you talking about? Oh, I, I wanted this to be a surprise. Um, I work there now. You work at Pine Valley High. While you were away on your fishing trip with Uncle Stewart, I got a job there. I'm going to be a substitute teacher. <laughs> Isn't that great? It sucks. Junior? J.R., Mom. Can't you get anything right? That's no way to talk to your mom. Oh, sure. Like you're an expert on how to treat my mom? You don't even live here and you're telling me what to do? Hey, 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 hey. That, that is enough, okay? You apologize immediately. I'm sorry. Thank you. To Tad, please. Sorry. Can I get out of here now? No. Well, I want to see you, okay? After school. I'm going to meet you at Adams. I have soccer practice. Well, I'll meet you after soccer practice then, okay? We're going to discuss what just happened here. I'm so sorry. You don't have to apologize to me. Believe me, I understand. Well, I'm glad that you do, because I certainly don't. I, I, I don't understand anything anymore. I'm going to get dressed. Okay, what do you think? I wanted to look hip, but not trendy. Conservative, but not like Miss Pritz. You look fantastic. Thank you so much. Ah, <laughs> oh, first day of school, Junior. I think you're gonna be fine. I'm a sub. They're probably gonna tie me to a chair and dangle me out a window. Ah, uh, you can take them. Thank you. And thank you so much for staying here last night. You know, I gotta be honest. It's the best night of sleep I've had in a long time. Mm. Oh, good. Um, I'm sorry about the golf ball washer. <laughs> I should have called. <laughs> no, I'll tell you the truth, I only kept it around because I knew you loved it so much. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about LaFudge. He's uh, in the garage behind the antifreeze. Oh, great. Well, I'll have to get to him later. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be late. You know, we both got to get going. Liza's been on my case. Mm -hmm. She tells me I'm not spending enough time in the office lately. Well, work isn't everything. <laughs> no, it's not. Not by a long shot. Mm -hmm. Get going. Well, I forgot my coat. Huh. After you? Thank you. 